What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Hybrid Network News Flash. In the 10 year, well, now going on 11 year history of the MCU, there's been arguably no greater success story than Peyton Reed. The writer and director, previously best known for movies like Bring It On and Yes Man, took the reins of Ant-Man from Edgar Wright after a well-publicized and messy breakup that threatened to basically undo everything that the MCU had done so far and seemed poised to be a massive hit to Disney's reputation. Not only did Reed salvage the film, he turned it into a success and a surprise hit at the box office and with fans and critics alike. But believe it or not, more than a decade before he would take on the reins of Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Reed actually was in charge of developing the Fantastic Four for Fox as they attempted to bring it to the big screen for the first time ever. Reed ultimately left the project due to creative differences, which ultimately got handed to Tim Story and wound up becoming Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, both of which were met with, let's just say, middling reception at the box office and critically. But now, Years later, we finally know what a Peyton Reed Fantastic Four film would have looked like thanks to the director himself during a Q&A after an exclusive screening of Ant-Man and the Wasp posted by Collider and IMAX. Reed said, I developed it for about a year, and we went through some different permutations and some different writers, but yes, one of the big ideas was a set in the 60s thing that at the time was structurally going to be basically like a hard day's night, where we were not going to even deal with the origin story. And time may heal all wounds, but Reed is still a little bit sore over his departure, saying that Fox's desire to make a B movie out of the Fantastic Four is ultimately what led him to depart the project and go on to greener pastures with the success of the Ant-Man movies. And Reed's vision actually sounds incredibly interesting. Personally, I love the idea of setting them in the 60s just because one, they were of course originally written in the 60s and they definitely fit in with that whole retro sci-fi futuristic vibe, but at the same time describing it as a hard day's night is really interesting. It would have just been a day in the life of the Fantastic Four rather than an origin story setting up for a franchise. And it's all, of course, worth noting that this is something to keep in mind now that Marvel is actually going to have access to the Fantastic Four once again whenever that Disney Fox deal closes, and Reed might be a name they'd consider to helm the project. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.